It's a very dark day. Never did Anissa Rampasad imagine she would be performing the final rites for four of her children, more so at the same time. Her wailing peals through the chapel of the Allens' funeral home in Arima as she hugs the casket bearing her only son Shane, her eyeball. Much like the sounds at their home in Guanapo when her four children, Tiffany 19, Shane 17, Ariana 14, and Faith 10 were discovered dead as gunmen stormed their home, unleashing gunfire, leaving few witness to the horrific nightmare. Family, friends, classmates, and others from the marginalized community gathered to say their final goodbyes. But due to the state of decomposition affected while the bodies were in state custody, it's a closed casket send-off. Among the mourners, Arima MP Penelope Beckles, who met with parents Anissa and Sean on Thursday. I just want to urge all of us present here not to judge. It is too easy for us to make comments when we don't have the facts and we don't know exactly what happened. Because that's the tendency that we have. The heinousness of the crime, the wickedness of what has transpired, it is very difficult for anybody to contemplate what is in the minds of people to do such an act. So this is not the time for us to come to all kinds of conclusions other than to pray for ourselves and our country. A few came forward to give small tributes. With these kids, these children are, was the most amazing children. Despite what people may say, they were the most amazing children. <laughs> Respectable, they all, they, everybody in the community is auntie and uncle to them. They hardly get children to do that right now, right? What amazes me the most is that the dad spent majority of his time and effort and money to purchase animals for his children. And each and everybody with a tall boot, say what I'm telling all you, go in and tie out cows. But just as there was no one to save them on that ill-fated morning, so too there was no one to give a eulogy, a final tribute to the four lives snuffed out in a matter of minutes. Their mother, Anissa, said all she could have said to the media. She wept quietly, helpless in this spiral of death. Pastor Marlon Alvarez officiated the proceedings, promising that justice will be served. Person or persons that have caused us to be in this dark moment today and have many other people across this nation in similar circumstances it's better you hang a millstone around your neck because god coming for you believe me coming for you he says there's no sense in blaming authorities for crime and other societal ills we have allowed our children to do what the hell they want and now when we reap the consequences, we want to blame the Prime Minister, blame the opposition leader, blame the this one, blame the Minister of National Security. Hell no, they are not responsible. It is us, he said, individual members of society who are responsible for what befalls. And we sit in our homes and we watch them on the block in front of the house. And we do nothing. And we watch them bringing the gun home. And we do nothing. And we watch them bringing the drugs home, and we do nothing. And we watch them thieving and lying, and we and, and, and we take, we partake of what they bring, and we do nothing. And then we want to hold we head and ball and talk about the state of our nation. Is we make it so? Neither Anissa nor Sean could bear to look at the slideshow of pictures, the smiling faces of the four that are no more, pictures of their childhood into youth their vibrance, hope in their eyes, and aspiration in their faces, reflective of the life, simple to some, but nevertheless, the lives they once lived.
The reality seeps in. There will be no graduations, no driver's permits, no wedding bells, and no more candles to blow. Urvashi Tawari, Rupnarain, TV6 News.